guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about a ton of different things. I'm going to be telling you guys about my first YouTube paycheck, how I got it, and how to start a successful channel in 2019. So just a little disclaimer before I get into the video, I just want you guys to know that I am not trying to make this video just to brag. That is not at all the purpose of this video. I know that when I was first going through this process of how to actually get a paycheck, how to start getting paid on YouTube, how to be successful, I didn't have anyone to ask because I don't know any YouTube. So I was just kind of on my own and I don't want it to be that way for you guys too So if you have any questions, please comment them after you watch this video just in case I answer them in the video But if you still have questions after you watch the video Please let me know because I want to be that person for you guys and answer your questions Because it was kind of difficult for me not having anyone to ask So I don't want you guys to have to deal with that too So if you have any questions, just comment them down below. I just want to make sure you guys know Know that I am not trying to brag just because I'm talking about a paycheck or anything I want to show you guys how you can do it too and I just want this video to be really educational I guess for you guys so that is what I'm gonna be doing today by the way I'm sorry about the lighting right now it's really dark outside and there's really nothing I can do about it because I don't have any studio lights or anything so I just kind of have to work with the natural light so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is telling you guys how to get monetized on YouTube this is going to be more like step by step I'm not going to be telling you guys tips right now. This first little part of the video, I'm just going to be like telling you guys all the things that you need to do. And then a little bit later on in the video, I'll tell you guys my tips on how to actually like be successful. So the first thing you need to do is sign up for Google AdSense. All you have to do is make an account. Google AdSense is basically just how you get paid. Um, they're the ones that do all the ads on your videos and everything. So you just need to make an account. It's really easy. I recommend doing that first. You don't have to do that first. You can do it after you've met the requirements but I just recommend getting that out of the way. So then after you've done that, you need to reach a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Watch hours are just like how long people have been watching your videos. So people need to have watched your videos for 4,000 hours and that's a lot. So I'll give you guys tips on how to get that later on in the video. Um, like I said, right now, I'm just going to be simply telling you everything you need to do. So after you've reached a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, YouTube will tell you that your channel is being reviewed and that they will tell you if you've been approved to monetize your videos within a month and I've gotten pretty lucky with timing with YouTube because they emailed me two days later and told me that I was approved also um, the only reason you wouldn't get approved is probably just if you're making like really bad videos or maybe if you're like cussing a lot or something but don't worry you guys will all probably get approved so after you've been approved you'll be able to start putting ads on your videos and when you upload a video um, there should be like a little monetization tab that you can click on and you can turn on ads and after you've already done it once it should just do it automatically on all your other videos but you can go in and change the settings you can put ads in between if you want to I think that's only for longer videos I'm not quite sure but yeah so you basically just put ads on your videos and you start earning money but it's a little bit more complicated than that you don't just like make a dollar and then you automatically have a dollar like you're not just like collecting the money YouTube pays you on the 21st of every month so I definitely recommend downloading the YouTube studio app because it tells you your estimated revenue so every 24 hours it up updates um, and tells you like how much money you've made in the past 24 hours so with that app you can just basically keep track of how much money you're making and then around the 15th of the month it'll transfer to your Google Adsense account so there will be a number that shows up in your account I think it just says like unpaid earnings and then it gives you the number that you're gonna get paid and then on the 21st you receive that payment so in order to get paid every month you have to reach a minimum of a hundred dollars there's a hundred dollars threshold. So YouTube pays you on the 21st of every month. So say it's like, you know, the 19th or the 20th or something and you have $99. If you don't make $100 in time, then you're going to have to wait until the next month on the 21st to get paid. No matter how close you are, even if you just have one penny left, you will still have to wait until the next month to get paid. You don't just get paid automatically when you make $100. It's on the 21st of every month. So once you've reached the $100 threshold, you will be able to put in all of your 
your information into Google AdSense. So you're gonna put in your payment information. So put in your card, whatever you want it to go to. And then they're gonna have you confirm that. So they're gonna send you a certain amount of cent to your bank account. And then you're going to enter how much they sent you into um, Google AdSense. YouTube, for example, might send you 33 cents or something. So once you receive that 33 cents and you know how much they sent you, then you enter 33 cents into Google AdSense. And then after you've done that, your payment information is confirmed. And then you have to enter your address. For a lot of people, this one is a little bit more difficult. So you just enter your address and then they will tell you that they're going to mail you a pin. For me, it said, please allow up to like three to five days for it to actually be like shipped out and then give it two to four weeks to actually come. But for me, it took two days to come. I requested the pin on a Wednesday and the pin came in the mail on a Friday. This is the piece of paper that you will get in the mail once you have entered your address. And when you open it up, it just has a number inside and then you enter that into Google AdSense and your address is confirmed. And then the last thing you need to do is tax information. So if you are like me, if you're under 18 and you're trying to make money on YouTube, you are going to need to enter a parent's tax information. Now my parents were kind of skeptical about this because I told them that I needed to do that. They were like, I don't know about that. We should probably do some research on it. So I also did look it up. And if you're under 18, I don't think you can get paid. So I used my mom's tax information and it's super easy. It just asks for a few little questions and you're good to go, but you just have to put in someone else's tax information, like just anyone over 18 basically. So if you have an older sibling or a parent or whatever, um, just put in their tax information instead of yours. And that's about it for getting paid. So this whole process for some people, it can take years. For some people, it can take months. For some people, it can take days. I don't know if it can take days actually. That's like really fast. <laughs> when you're waiting for your pin to come and when you're waiting for your payment information to be like verified, that takes a very long time for most people. Reaching a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours will take a lot of time and then reaching the hundred dollars will take a lot of time. So just be patient. So once all of that stuff is done, you will receive a payment on the 21st of every month. Now I'm going to give you some tips on how to make that payment just keep increasing and increasing and maybe get your first paycheck a little bit faster. Also, um, I will tell you guys how much I made on my first YouTube paycheck, but that'll be at the end of the video. So my first piece of advice is probably the biggest thing that I want you guys to take away from this video. It is to be patient because like I just said two seconds ago, um, this whole process takes such a long time. For some people, like I said, this is going to take years. So please don't expect it to just happen overnight. Um, you need to be patient. And I know it can be discouraging when you see other YouTubers that are growing faster than you or you're just not growing at the pace that you wanna be growing at, but just keep going. Just keep pushing through it because if you are really passionate about having a YouTube channel, don't just give up. Keep working towards your goal and it will happen. But the rest of these tips will hopefully help you grow a little bit faster. So my second second tip for you guys is to be prepared for people to find out about your channel. Because I know a lot of you guys don't want to start a channel just because you don't want people from school finding out, you don't want your friends finding out, you don't want people making fun of you. Well, what I think you should do is tell them about it first. That might sound scary to you guys, but what I did was I posted it on my Instagram. So I'm not giving anyone the power to be like, oh, I found McKenna's secret YouTube channel. Let's all make fun of it now. You know what I mean? Like if you're putting yourself out there, people can't just like make fun of it. I mean, they can, but they probably won't. <laughs> this is so hard to explain, but you need to be prepared for people to find out about it because it's going to be very, very hard to hide your YouTube channel. So just be ready for people to find out. My third tip goes along with my second one. Um, basically, just don't care about what anyone thinks. That is so much easier said than done, but you just have to understand that if you care what other people think, you're not gonna have a successful channel. You're not gonna get there. If you are worried about other people judging your channel or something, like what good is that gonna do? Before I started a YouTube channel three months ago, I had wanted to do it for six years. I let myself be scared for six years when I could have been on YouTube this entire time. Like, what was wrong with me? So finally, I just told myself, you know what? Why are you so scared? Who cares what people think? People don't like your channel. They don't have to watch. So my next tips are a little bit more like technical, I guess. It's not just like about your mindset. It's about what you should be doing. So my fourth tip is YouTube really, really likes long videos. By making long videos, you can get your watch time hours in faster. So you'll be able to reach the 4,000 hours way quicker if you make longer videos. So if you're just making like three or four minute videos every week, you are going to be waiting a very, very long time to get 
those watch hours in. But if you're making 10 minute videos every week, it's going to go by so much faster. Also, when you're at the point where you're getting paid, longer videos are extremely helpful when it comes to that. My next tip is to be really good at time management. YouTube takes time. It takes time to film, it takes time to edit, it takes time to upload. There's just so many things that go along with having a YouTube channel and you don't realize how much work it actually is until you start doing it. So if you're a super busy person, definitely figure out a way to make time for your YouTube channel because if you really truly care about your YouTube channel, you'll make time for it. But if you don't, then you're not gonna have a successful channel. My next tip is to have good thumbnails. You want to have a thumbnail that like accurately represents what the video is about. You don't want to just use clickbait all the time because that actually can hurt your channel because people will only watch until they find out if the thumbnail is true or not and then they'll click out of the video. And when you don't get that watch time, it really affects your success. So try to make very aesthetically pleasing thumbnails too. When your thumbnails are really nice looking, people are more likely to click on it. If I'm looking at a thumbnail that's like really low quality, um, I can't really read the font very well and it just doesn't look like professional, I'm not gonna watch the video. I'm not even gonna bother watching it because I can already see by the thumbnail, just the overall quality is not going to be that good. But when you have a really, really good thumbnail um, and you put a lot of time into your thumbnail, I promise you that will impact your video so much. You can literally have the most boring video ever with the most interesting thumbnail and you can get thousands of views. Or you could have the most interesting video with a boring thumbnail and it'll hardly get any views because no one wants to click on that video. So you want to make sure that people are gonna want to click on your videos. Another tip I have for you guys is to make sure that editing is really good. By the way, I did show you guys how I make my thumbnails and how I edit my videos in a completely separate video. So I'll have that right here. I think it's right here. I'm not, I never know which side it's on, but it'll be on one of the sides. It'll pop up right now or it'll be in the description. So if you guys want editing tips, I have a whole separate video on that. So I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about editing because I have a 10 minute long video on it already. <laughs> Next, I think your videos should be very good quality. If you want to start out filming on your phone, that is completely fine. But I find that when you have nicer quality videos that you'll grow faster. So right now I'm using the Canon G7X. This camera is amazing, I love it. it it's pricey, but it is great for beginners because it's good for vlogging, but it's also really, really good for sit down videos too. It's not like the best, but it's just good for a lot of different things because if you have like a DSLR camera, you can't vlog with one of those. And then for some vlogging cameras, you can't really do sit down videos with those. So this one is just really good and it's worked for me super, super well. It's small, it's lightweight, it's good for everything. So I definitely recommend the Canon G7X if you're looking for a camera. I'm sorry if the angle changed right there. Um, I just ran out of storage, so I had to delete some stuff. So I don't remember where I left off, so I'm just gonna move on to my next piece of advice, which is be consistent when you upload. Because when you don't upload consistently, that's really not gonna help you at all. If you make a schedule for yourself, that is going to help you grow so, so much. So if you wanna upload three times a week, make sure to tell your subscribers, I'm uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I upload on Sundays every single week. So when your followers know when you're gonna upload they're gonna be expecting your video and they're gonna be waiting for your video and they're gonna watch it when it comes out but if you're just uploading at like random times if you're rarely uploading at all no one's gonna care anymore they're gonna lose interest but when you're uploading consistently that's gonna help you so much because people subscribe to you because they want to see your videos every week or every however long so consistency is key that's gonna help you guys out so so much now if your channel is similar to my type of channel there's a lot of popular videos that you can do. Currently, my most popular video is my room tour. That was actually my third video, and that one has over 100,000 views right now. And I think that's a huge reason why I grew kind of quickly, because that video just got so many views in such a short amount of time, and that just really made my subscribers, like, really grow. And with that being the third video that I ever, like, posted on this channel, besides my piano videos, I'm not talking about that right now, that was, like, the third actual video I posted on my channel. When I uploaded that video, I think I was at 300 subscribers and that was in January and now I'm at 14,000 by the way thank you guys for 14,000 subscribers we are growing so quickly and it's making me so happy you guys are all so 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 supportive like all of your comments make me so happy so just thank you guys for all of your support thank you guys for 14,000 subscribers but back to what I was saying um, that video definitely boosted me a lot and that wasn't the only video that gave me subscribers but that video definitely was just like a Kickstarter kind of 
creative. Um, another one of my popular videos was how I edit. And some of you guys might want to watch that video after this one because that will give you a lot of tips on how to edit. And everything I do in that video is super simple. Anyone could do it. I use iMovie, iMovie's free. Just all of the videos like that that are like super popular to make. But I also do recommend trying to do your own thing and being creative and being original and not just always following those specific videos, if that makes sense. Okay, so the very last tip I have for you guys is to comment on other people's videos. This one has actually gained me a good amount of subscribers because what a lot of YouTubers do is turn on a ton of bigger YouTubers post notifications and then the second you get the notification that they uploaded, you click on the notification and just comment something and you just hope it gets likes because if it gets likes, then people will click on your account and will follow you. And most of the time, I don't even do that intentionally to like gain subscribers. Usually I'll do that on like Hannah's videos or Luca's videos or Summer's videos and it's just because like I, I love those YouTubers, you know? It's not necessarily to always gain subscribers, but if your comment does gain a lot of likes, people will click on your channel and people will subscribe. Actually, now that I'm thinking about that, I do have one last tip. Have a good profile picture and a good channel banner because when people do click on your channel, they want it to be aesthetically pleasing, they want it to look really nice, look really professional, and if it doesn't look good, then they're not going to subscribe. And that's kind of similar with like thumbnails and stuff like that, like people will click on your video if it looks good, but if it looks bad, then no one's gonna watch the video. And with your channel, people will subscribe if your channel looks really nice and professional and just clean. But if it doesn't, people aren't gonna subscribe because, you know, it's not good quality. So that is all the tips that I have for you guys. And now I'm about to tell you guys how much I made on my very first YouTube paycheck. Don't think that it's like a crazy amount of money or anything, cause it's not. It's a normal amount of money. Usually it's pretty close to the threshold. My first YouTube paycheck was $216.24. I just wanna let you guys know that when you're first starting out with YouTube, you're gonna be making such a small amount of money. You might be struggling just to get that $100 threshold. You might go way past it, but you're not gonna be making that much money to start out with. But I will tell you guys, if you continue to grow and use the tips that I've given you, your paycheck will definitely, definitely be better the following months. It should be growing at least a tiny, tiny bit every month. I will tell you guys that it is currently April 4th and I have until the 20th to make as much money as I can to get paid on the 21st. And I'll tell you guys that I already will be making more than $216 just because my channel has grown since then. I've made more videos since then and your revenue will just keep going up. So yeah, that is about it. If you guys have any other questions, if you guys need help with um, setting up your AdSense or anything like that, if you guys need any advice, please comment down below because I'll try to reply to as many comments as I can. And I hope this video was helpful to you guys. By the way, this is so random, but I made a dope a few weeks ago, I think. Um, and I'm gonna try to start posting on it a lot more than I do. So if you guys wanna follow my dope, it'll be in the description. That was super random. And one last thing, if you guys like my necklace, um, it'll be featured in my next video, hopefully. I think it'll be the very next one that I do. So next Sunday, you guys will be seeing where this is from. I also gave you guys another hint in my prom dress video and the top that I was wearing in that video was also going to be involved in the video that's coming out. So stay tuned for that. If you can guess what it is, leave it down in the comments. If you stayed this long, comment a dinosaur emoji. I don't know. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching this whole thing if you're still watching right now and I will see you guys next Sunday with another video. Bye guys.